Hello my lovely friends, I'm Nikki and you are here with me today for another Sunday Sewing Room Chat. Hi, my name's Nikki and when you're here with me on Sundays, it is just for a bit of a crafty chat about all the things that I have been making and working on and all that sort of caper. Generally, it's cross stitch, sewing and a little bit of quilting. Uh, today, it is pretty much mostly cross stitch with a little bit of sewing thrown in. And if you've been here before and you have come back, thank you so much. It is so nice to have you here. I really appreciate all of my subscribers and all of the people that pop by to watch me and sit with me. Um, when I watch floss tube, because I do, I watch a lot of floss tube and I watch a lot of sewing videos and things like that. I tend to be doing things while I'm doing it. So that is actually what I have playing while I am cross stitching and while I am sewing, I'll have videos on in the background and I really enjoy doing that. Um, so I'd love to know, how do you watch your floss tube? How do you watch your videos? Do you have it that you're focused solely on that or is it like me where you have it playing like a best friend sewing next to you and then you look up occasionally to see what they're showing you and then back down to your stitching because that's how I work. <laughs> that's how I do it. So it's been quite a few weeks since the last time we sat down for a bit of a social chat. I have got quite a few finishes here to show you. Um, I have spent a little bit of extra time at home because I have um, had a few days where I have not been feeling the best and um, I got a little bit of extra stitching time because of it, so I don't mind so much at all. Um, I'm still a little bit croaky, so bear with me. And um, yeah, so I, I have got quite a few finishes here. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some. And I also have got my cow to talk about. Um, the previous video to this one was a sew along video. Um, that is generally what we'll have um, every month. Every month there will be a sew with me and it at the moment we're focusing on the Tilda friends, which are the toys. Uh, we have done we have done our cats. So this one here was in a video a couple of videos back where you could sew this girl with me. And then our last one was for the cow. So here is my cow. She is adorable with her little overalls, little pocket. She is fantastic. She's got all her movable arms and legs. She's actually gonna to go to someone else's house to live, but I just wanted to show it on this video first. Um, if you do want to make one of these and you haven't seen the video, I'll link it below. And next video, so along for next month, we are actually gonna be doing the Easter bunnies, which I do have one of the little girls here, one of the little Easter bunnies. And these are so sweet. They're so little and cute. Um, and because they are that little bit smaller, they're a lot quicker to make. So you could make a couple of these quite easily. Um, you could make them a couple at a time, which is what I generally tend to do and what I will be doing probably while I'm sewing along with everyone else. So this will be our next month's sew along video. And while we're on the topic of sew alongs, I thought I would show you a few of the um, toys that some of you have made and that you've shared with me. And I loved being able to share them with everyone because it is great being able to share what we're making. It's so inspirational and it just gives us so many ideas. Everyone's is different. So it's just, it just really feeds the creativity to share all these beautiful things. So the first one I want to share with you is from a fellow Aussie sewing friend. Um, this is Haley's kitty. She made her precious girl with this beautiful lace trim and she's made this cat for her mother-in-law and it is just gorgeous. I really love it. Well done, Haley. And now I want to show you Kristen's kitty and you can find Kristen on Instagram um, as Kristen's creative therapy and I will actually put a link to her Instagram down below if you want to see some of the other things that she makes but this is her gorgeous kitty and I love that she has put a little bow in its hair well in its I guess it's fur yeah <laughs> but I just think it's just so adorable and what a great idea I really really love it and these last dolls that I want to show you now we have not done an elephant tutorial yet but after uh, Sharon 
This is Sharon from Dolly Jones in England, and I will put her Instagram link below as well. Um, she did such an amazing job with her kitty. So she has made the elephant on her own, and she's given it these gorgeous little circus overalls, which is so cute. So um, elephant is always an option for another sew along if you wanna do another sew along with the elephant. But this kitty is just adorable, little ginger kitty with a, her bag. What a great job, and I just really wanted to share it with everyone so that you can all see all these beautiful ideas with different colors and different fabric choices and last of all we have this absolutely gorgeous cow this is uh desiree she has been named she is so cute i love these flower power overalls they are everything this cow is by so finished and so finished is a fellow australian and i will also link her instagram down below just in case you want to go and check out some of her other beautiful things that she makes so wonderful to be able to share all these beautiful makes with you if you do make something from one of our videos and you you would like me to feature it on the video um share it on the hashtag um i will always ask permission before posting anything um but yeah share it on the hashtag so the hashtags that um you can share on our in the sewing room with nick and or just nick's days as a hashtag as well both are, are used and um, if you didn't want to put it on the hashtag, you could always email me. My email address will be in the description box. And also um, instant message me on Instagram as well. I'm, I try really hard to get back as soon as possible. Of course, I do have a lot going on. So if it does take a while, I really do apologize. But I try my hardest. Um, I love this little community and I love getting to know you all. Um, from all the different places around the world that you are. It's just really special to have all these new friends that I can share with. It's fantastic. So that is all of the sewing that I have to share with you today, except for just a little bit that I have done to fully finish some objects. But um, the rest of that I have here is pretty much all stitching. <laughs> So when I left you last time, we were still in January. And so I thought I would just show you my January in Book of Days. So it was a very full month and really happy with it. Um, I have got my pictures on the side of my fully finishes, which is what I do. So anything that I fully finish in the month will go up on here. And yeah. So that was my very full January. So when I saw you last, it was coming towards the end of January. It was the 23rd was my last day of filming. I did manage to get a finish in January and that is the Tenderness of Heart. And it's a Jane Austen sample. I'm gonna put it up here because I have actually, I can't find the printed copy that I have. I may have thrown it out because it's just a PDF copy. Um, the pattern is by Modern Folk Embroidery. And so this is my finish. I've just put it in a plain gold um, frame. It's an eight by 10 frame. It is not a perfect fit. It has got a wider edge on either side, but that's okay. That's fine. And I just have it just um, temporarily in there anyway, so I can always swap it out, um, but it can now sit on my shelf and look wonderful. She is stitched on 36 count vintage country mocha, and she is stitched with just DMC 355 and i love it i think it's fantastic so i really wanted to have this finished before valentine's day which i did get it finished before valentine's day but i didn't get it framed until after valentine's day this is just a uh, very cheap like dollar store pretend um gold frame it's just like a plasticky frame really and i've just got it i've taken out the glass so there's no glass i don't actually like leaving the glass on i like no glass. So yeah, I don't know. Do you prefer glass or no glass? I just think that with the frames that I get, the quality of glass is not nice enough to put in. <laughs> so if I could have it professionally framed, maybe, um, I have never had anything professionally framed. Uh, I have not been cross stitching long enough and I don't think that I have had a finish yet that I would get professionally framed. I don't know. I just, I think I like doing it myself from start to finish. So anyway, this is just a cheap frame and yeah, I have just used a little bit of batting behind the stitching just to um, 
I think it makes it look smoother. I, I like it better. And then um, I've just used double-sided tape, actually, and just taped it straight to the backing. And I've just wedged a little bit of cardboard in the side to make sure that it stays there. But And that's that's my about what it is. Um, but I figure when it's on display, no one's going to pick it up and look at the back of the frame. So <laughs> it doesn't matter what the back of the frame looks like, does it? Anyway, that I'm really happy with that. I think it looks amazing. Jane Austen, I am one of her biggest fans. I just, yeah, I love Jane Austen books. I read them a lot. And now I have this. I'm happy with it. So that is a fully finished item. The first one that I did in January after finishing that, it was actually my boy's 20th birthday and I wanted to do a new start for their birthday. Um, I chose... Let me get it out. I chose this one, and this is Mojo Stitches Bushland Quaker to start this on their birthday. Um, and I am actually stitching this along with a friend of mine who um, I have actually split the the threads because I ordered the um, Cottage Garden threads for this. And they're so pretty. Um, and I split them with her so that we could both try them out. And I just just really love it. And I'm thinking I'm going to, in amongst all these, I'm thinking here and here, just put their first initials. And then um, possibly if I can find another big space, possibly over here, just put um, the year that they were born. And yeah, I'm really, really loving this. So I'll show you where I'm at. So now the threads, <laughs> I'm a bit of a mess. So I have got these, all the cottage garden threads on a thread drop. So they all look really pretty. And then I have got everything else in a big pile. <laughs> but the colors are just so, so nice. Oh, look, there's a little animal, thread animal, thread monster, whatever it is. Okay. There we go. So they're all the colors that I've got. And then I'm actually stitching this one on 40 count week T from Jay's cross stitch. And I will link Jay's cross stitch down below too, because this is beautiful linen. It's a really big piece. I've got it folded up because I haven't cut it yet, but this is my start. So I have done these motifs here. This one here, I'm not going to count from because I have a feeling I may have done a little bit of different things in there but I can count from everything else and then this one here I've I've got to work on but I just it's coming along really nicely really happy with that the color of this is beautiful the weak tea um, I think it's actually the called for so it's the called for color but not the called for count so the call for count is 36 but I am using um, 40 count because 40 count is just my favorite. I just love stitching on 40 count. So I managed to get that started on Australia Day. And someone did ask me what the significance of starting it on their birthday was. And yeah, the, the boys were born on Australia Day. And so I really wanted to do an Australian themed cross stitch. And these are all Australian flowers and um, also a couple of Australian birds thrown in as well. And so that is the meaning behind this. I'll tuck that one away because otherwise I'm going to make a mess everywhere. And so for the rest of January, I did a little bit of work on my Elizabeth Isles. Now this is a birthday start as well, but this is a birthday start from for Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter. Laura is the Serial Starter. Um, so I did do a little bit of work on this. I'm not as far along as I would like to be, but <laughs> I think last time you saw it, I had all the angels. So really the only new thing is this flower, but I am enjoying it. It's just, um, there's so many things and I get distracted very, very easy. So I really want to pick this up again very soon because I am really enjoying it. So I'm using all of the called for colors and these are just the DMC because I tend to just go with DMC. And the linen that I've got here is a 35 count um, in lambswool. So 
it's actually quite a nice stitch for when you have tired eyes um yeah so i'm really enjoying that one so i did a little bit of progress on that one and that took me through to the end of the month and then doo -doo -doo, let's flip over to february and i'll show you how we're looking so far so oh i have got a lot of finished things up here for february and yeah all my days have been full um some days it was only like a few minutes of stitching like sometimes you you do only have a spare 10 15 minutes or you're just tired so some days are, are just a few stitches other days i managed to do a lot but um i enjoyed myself all the same so day one of february i started a new start it was a new start and it is for the colorado cross stitch winter cross stitch camp um, which is bizarre because it's summer here still and very very hot but um, it is the winter cross stitch camp and the theme of the camp is to do a stitch that is done in a single color and so um, i chose this one clara hansen and this is by hello from liz matthews um, and i just watched her floss tube with her mum showing the latest releases that will be released at um, market all their new cross stitch designs and oh dear <laughs> i just want to make so many of them but anyway i'm really enjoying this one um i have got a pretty good go on it i have still got a fair bit to get done before the end of february if i um want to be in the running for um, I think she has some prizes that she will do for people that manage to start and finish in the month. But this is where I'm at. So doing quite well. Not too much to go. Um, so this one here is the... Let me show you. So if you have a look on here... I'm actually up to this part here on it and I've just got this little bit down here to go after I've done this row so not too bad at all I'll be able to get that done and I'm really enjoying this I love the colors so I am stitching this one I'm using 502 DMC 502 and this fabric is from Jay's cross stitch as well and this is the color mulberries and I just really love it. It's got a lovely pink undertone, which is a bit hard to tell in this light um, because it is late in the afternoon. It was too hot to film earlier, but it is so nice. And I think I'm going to need to get some more of this if I can, because I'm just really enjoying it. It's a 40 count linen, beautiful to stitch on. I'm just loving it so much. So I will hopefully have that finished to show you by the next video that's the aim <laughs> that's the aim I would have had it finished this month already but I have found so many other things that I wanted to make so <laughs> so the other stitch along that I'm doing for February um, is actually a year-long stitch along the Queenslander by Lily Pilly Stitches and I'll put a photo up here because I've left the cover sheet somewhere I did print it out but I've left it somewhere um, I haven't finished this month's installment yet. I still have to keep working on it, but I have managed to get the roof of the next house done. So I just need to um, pull this out and finish off the next house. Um, I've done the border up to the page that I need to. And yeah, that's, that's going to be the next. So the next house is um, in greys and yellows. Really cute. So I will definitely need to pull this one out to finish the February house before the next month starts. I'm not sure how Lisa's going. Hopefully you're doing well, Lisa. Um, I haven't seen it up on your page or on your video for a while. So bring it out and show me. How are you going? You've got to play catch up, girl. So I was ready for something pretty. Um, after doing the roof of the house I just wanted to do something pretty and I had been working on this beautiful pattern here by quaint rose needle arts and this is Mary Amelia's bird and I was nearly there last time last video I was nearly there and I managed to get a finish in 
um, and I have shown this on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. Um, it is in a temporary frame at the moment because I haven't found the perfect frame. I'm not sure if I want to go white. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to have a think about it. I'm not sure. And I think I would prefer something more square so that I didn't have so much room top and bottom. I'll have to have a play. Um, yeah, it might be a matter of cutting down a frame to fit or getting one made to suit. But I am super happy with how it turned out. It is a beautiful stitch. I mean, anything with a bird is gorgeous. I have a thing about birds. I love birds. Birds and bees um, are just, yeah, do, do love them. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just so pretty. I'm just going to leave this here for a bit because if you haven't started this, maybe you should. It is just so beautiful. And it's not like it, to look at it, it's a little bit confetti, but not really. Like it's not, it's not hard because it's only small and it's just so sweet. It is so sweet. So I am really happy with that. And that is another finish. So I'm putting things down over here to make room so that, because there's a lot, there's a lot happening over here. Let me consult the book. What did I work on next? Okay, so the next stitch I did um, with Valentine's Day in mind, I, around this time, had gotten my uh, booster shot and was feeling a little bit sort of sore and lethargic. I actually ended up with quite a few aches and pains and things from that. Um, so I just wanted something little that, you know, it was easy to hold and, you know, I could just stitch it together really fast. Um, I wanted to have some instant gratification. <laughs> so I saw this um, on Twin Peaks Primitives site, uh, Instagram, Instagram site, and like within seconds I was buying it and printing it out. And it is this love, Stitchy Love it's called, and I just think it's fantastic. It's all the things I love. It's a cross stitch mini with sewing themed things on it. Like, could it be any more perfect for me? I just had to make it, I had to, had to do it. So I have stitched mine on 40 count natural. Um, I don't know what it calls for because I only have the cover sheet to show you. So I have stitched this on 40 count natural and it has turned out amazing. And it's just one strand of one, I did do a little bit of back stitch around here because the um, white that I was using kind of disappeared into the natural, but it's fine with that little bit of back stitch on it. And I have used a little bit of um, trim that I managed to get from Number no. Twelve Stitch Co. And I've actually got some of it here because it's really quite cute. It's like a whiskers trim, and let me pull a bit out for you. So it comes as like a tape, so you can stitch it down the center. Um, I actually ironed it flat to make it easier to stitch down, but you can stitch it down the center. I hand tacked it and it gives this gorgeous, gorgeous edge to your work. And it just, this color, it is milk coffee, matches the natural so well. So I'm really happy with how that has turned out. Um, and I've just backed it in some black that I had um, in my scrap pile. And I just, oh, how cute is it? It is so adorable. So I was happy with that for a little finish. And so when I finished that, that's about the time that I filmed the last video, the Tilda Cow Sew Along, which you can always jump back to the last video and have a look at that one. Um, if you, even if you're not a confident sewer, I think anybody can do this. It just, it's, it takes time, but it's not as hard as you think it's going to be. Like to look at the dolls, to look at the dolls, they look quite intimidating, but they're really actually easier than you think. I promise they are. I promise they are. Anyone can give it a go. And so after that, it was Valentine's Day and I had already finished my Modern Folk Embroidery um, heart and I'd already finished my Stitchy Love and I wanted to stitch something that was love themed. So I had a look through my patterns and I found this one, which is the Sweetheart Pocket uh, by Blackbird Designs. 
and I think it is just so cute. Um, it's a little bit um, water damage there, which is a shame, but that's how I got it. Uh, I just, how gorgeous is it? So sweet. So I stitched mine um, on none of the call for, but similar that I, you know, whatever I could find that was similar. So in my stash, I had some of, here it is, here's my finish. This one here is 40 count weathered, and this one here is 40 count cocoa dust, and they are by number 12 Stitch Co. And they're gorgeous. And I just pulled some um, mystery threads from my stash that I thought would work on both. And then I didn't have, so in on this one, it's got this gorgeous tiny rickrack and I only had regular size rickrack. So I actually just sewed the rickrack to the inside of, and just had the edges poking up so that I kind of got that pretty effect without having the big rickrack on there. And then I've just hand sewn a, like a little eyelet onto there and hung some ribbon from the center. And it is backed in some, this is Jane Austen fabric from the Jane Austen quilt. Um, it's scraps from the pieces that I have cut out ready to make the Jane Austen quilt, which I'm hoping, I think, I feel like I'm ready to start quilting again. Um, I've had a big break because I don't know, I just kind of lost my quilty bug, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pull it out. I really want to get that one on my bed, especially when you see the fabrics. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Now that was from start to finish from first stitch to fully finishing it only took me two days so um yeah very very sweet i was very happy with that and you can put your little scissors in the pocket very cute and of course when i finished that i um wanted another small i couldn't bring myself to work on because this is about the time that i started to feel pretty poorly i couldn't bring myself to work on anything um too arduous i just wanted easy and i had found um this timber salt box from target and i'd put it i bought it bought, bought it home and i thought i'm gonna stitch something round to put on that and so i went through my blackbird books and i had a look at winds of autumn and can you see on the front cover they've got this um like a short squat pin drum or pin cushion that they have made i thought well i wonder if that would work um so yes i had a i pulled it out had a look let's see can i show you the page without showing you the chart let's do let's do this so there you go there it is in the book just gorgeous and so I thought that would be perfect. So it finished up just under three inch round, which is perfect for the little salt box that I got. So I have also put this on uh, my Instagram and a lot of you really liked this one. And it's so sweet. Um, I didn't quite have enough room to do the end how it was charted in the book. So I had to take off a, I, yeah, just made it work. I made it work. And so this is really cute. This um, salt box just kind of has a little hinge that swings around and I've got a little um, thread wax in there. So we'll keep the thread wax in there ready to go. And yeah, I just think, I think that's so awesome. Um, I will link this particular um, salt box down below as well. Um, it is from Target Australia, so I don't think you can find it in the US maybe, or in the UK, I'm not sure. They might have something similar, but I will link it. You can get it, purchase it online. Um, so if you're interested in putting it aside for something round and small, I recommend it. Um, all I did to finish it off was I traced the um, circle template, so in the book it had, so in the book it actually has like a circle template. So I traced that and then um, cut out a piece of cardboard that size, glued on some batting, and then I kind of put this on like a, um, 
a yo-yo finish or a Suffolk puff. So if you are not sure what that is, just Google it. There'll be like a gazillion um, tutorials for it, but it's just basically threading your needle in and out around the outside edge and then pulling it tight and the, um, yeah, it kind of just closes in on itself. It makes no sense whatsoever. Oh my goodness. And I'm so, I'm giving sewing tutorials. Um, it's kind of probably one of those things I have to show you to make sense. <laughs> um, I have put some Lady Doc Creates uh, pom-pom trim around the outside and that is in the color Toast. And I just, yeah, it's a cutie. It is a cutie and it's autumn colors because it's coming into autumn for us. Thank goodness, because I'm so over the heat. Oh, I'm so over the heat. Bring on autumn. Okay. I think that brings me to today, doesn't it? It does. That brings me to today. Okay. Um, last night I was on Instagram, as you do having a look at everyone's beautiful stitching and um, Kim from The Contented Stitcher had posted that she is doing a sell from the Sewing Club book, which is another Blackbird Designs book. And um, I had a look at the pattern. The pattern is actually the one on the back of the book, this one here. And I said, oh, gee, I love that little bird in the um, in the bouquet in the centre. I just love it. She said, well, how about you join? I'm like, oh, well, maybe. And Kim is actually only doing a portion of the chart. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea because I don't know that I would want to stitch the whole chart. It's beautiful. But I kind of feel like someone else has only stitched half of the chart for this one. It does only look like half a chart. So I thought, oh, you know what, I'm actually going to join in but i'm just going to do this section here just these two pots and the bird in the center and i'm going to make it into some sort of small some some sort of small not sure what um so i started that today and i have started on one of the flower pots here and yeah really happy with that now this is actually the same fabric that i used here and it is antique lace by number 12 stitch co in 36 count so i think the call for is 32 count i ah uh, 32 is not my favorite 36 is probably like the do you say biggest or smallest count i like 36 to 40. they're they're my favorite counts of fabric um so yeah, 36 it is. I think I just, because I like stitching with one thread, um, two threads, I, I don't know. I just, I just like one, one thread better. It's just, it's nicer <laughs> for me anyway. For me, it's just not a nicer way to stitch. I don't have to worry about them laying as flat and it just kind of automatically does. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not a great stitcher yet. I'm still learning. Um, I have only been stitching for a short amount of time. So this here, this sewing machine at the back here was probably my first ever cross stitch and that was not that long ago. Um, then I didn't really do anything else until very, very recently. Um, so you have pretty much seen my entire cross stitch journey even just here from start to finish, brand new. So if I'm brand new, anyone can be brand new. Um, I have just fallen so madly in love with it that you're stuck with me talking about cross stitch forever, <laughs> forever and ever. So I'm really excited to do this. Um, now the, the hashtag for this, so there is a hashtag for this and I will put the hashtag for this down below because I can't remember what it is. Um, <laughs> I should have written it down. But um, I, yeah, I've enjoyed that. I've got my start, oh, my upside down start. There we go, my start and excited to do that one. And it won't take long either because I'm only just doing a portion um, of the chart. I'm not doing the whole thing, just this section here. Um, yeah, so how fabulous is that? Okay, so that is all of my stitching that I have got to show you. Um, I do have some haul that I will bring out now, some things that I've purchased that I'm excited about and want to show you. Um, I have bought some fabric too, but I'm not going to show that because 
I've already put it away and I don't want to have to pull it out. <laughs> now, if you've watched me for a while, you know that I am a big puzzle fan. And I went to the quilter store with a friend of mine and found this. This is the Thimble Blossoms um, puzzle and it is all kinds of gorgeous. So I'm going to have fun with that one. So much fun with that one. Really happy with that little purchase. While I was there, I found this cute little pin holder. It's a magnetic pin holder and I'm going to pull it out of the box. And I just, it had to come home with me because how cute is that? So inside um, here is a magnet so they can all sit in the magnetic pin holder and it's just, it's just gorgeous. So I had to get that. Excuse my puppy, but people are walking past the house. Can you hear her? She's so loud. She doesn't like people walking past our house. Okay. Um, now the next thing I got, <laughs> I just thought was adorable. Um, I am a big reader and I quite often jump onto a lot of book sites just to see what's there and what's new. And while I was on, um, Booktopia, I found these, these are the McCall's, um, they're greeting cards and note cards and they are so cute so there's different designs and the inside of the cards are blank but there's four different designs have a look at these fellas would you look at the plaid suit they crack me up I just imagine my husband wearing that that's hilarious and then the envelopes of these are Oh goodness, I'm trying to get out without wrecking anything. The envelopes of these are like pattern pieces. They look like pattern pieces. So how sweet are they? I thought that was such a find. So they um they will go with anything that I'm able to gift. You know, when you're sending um homemade gifts away to people and things like that, I just think that sending it in one of these gorgeous vintage cards, how cute. How cute. So that was another find that I had. I also got some new glasses. Um, and you wouldn't think that that would be a haul to show on here. But um, the glasses that I picked are actually Liberty glasses. Check out that glasses case. Isn't that gorgeous? So I need glasses for um, being able to see things in the distance. So whatever that is, I get confused by long distance, short distance. Um, I can see up close fine. I can stitch on 40 count without any magnification. Close is fine. It's in the distance. If you want me to be able to read a street sign while I'm driving um, without my glasses on, you've got Buckley's chance. And like if I look out the distance without glasses, trees don't have individual leaves. They just are green. <laughs> but once I put my glasses on, I can actually see individual leaves so this is my new glasses for when i'm driving i love them and have a look at the inside of the frames the inside of the frames are all floral which i love um i do have a pair of kath kids and glasses that i also love um but these ones i actually ended up getting the anti-glare on them which um, I didn't get on the Kath Kidson ones. And I really like the anti-glare because it just means that um, when I'm driving at night, without it, lights tend to have like a, almost like a strobe effect. Like they, I don't know how to explain it, but with these, they don't. This is, this is the way to go. So I thought I'd show you just because they're Liberty and you know, that's a bit special. So I was happy with that. And I mean, the case itself even is just like, how cute is that case with a pair of glasses? I just think that's adorable. And so everything else I got that I'm going to show you now are some patterns. I got, where will I start? Let's start with these because we had a bit of a blackbird theme, didn't we? Now, 
I saw, I've seen this one around so much, so much and loved it every time that I thought I would get it for myself. This is All Joys for Thine and I'm going to put it nice and close so you can see. I just really, really love it. So I don't know, do you reckon these are bees or if, are they, I'm going to say they're bees because I love bees. And I just love this flower basket in the center. And I love these little Christmas tree shaped trees. I just think it's just so sweet. And the little accents in the corner of the borders. I just think it's such a sweet little chart. So I'm going to enjoy stitching that one. It's got a picture of the antique that inspired it on the back, which is gorgeous. So I did get that one. And then I was watching because I'm so easily influenced. I really am. I, I'm I, most creative people are though, aren't they? Whatever they see inspires their own creative juices. Well, Alba Stitches on Floss Tube, um, Amanda from Alba Stitches. I think she's also Alba Stitches on Instagram, but you need to check out her Floss Tube because it's a lot of fun. Um, she very recently did a series of the Blackbird stockings um, and she did one for every month. And I love them. They were just so beautifully finished and I just thought they were a great idea. And so I went and got myself some stocking patterns. <laughs> so let's have a look. I got a Christmas one and this is By the Chimney with Care. And if you have a look on the back, it's got three different designs in the chart, which are gorgeous. I got... Love is in the air because it was close to Valentine's Day when I purchased it. So I was very easily persuaded with that one. I think that is so sweet. And it's hard with um, us being on the other side of the world because a lot of seasonal things don't fit with our seasons. But I love the fact that with these charts, I have three to pull from and I can make them fit Australian seasons which is, yeah, that just makes me happy. And then I got April showers. <laughs> this bird I would like to make. <laughs> I just think that's adorable. So April showers and it's got, I love this with the umbrella and this like half wreath. So it's going to be a matter of picking. What will I pick? I don't know. What will I pick? But really happy with those those charts and then um her last floss tube she mentioned that she had been looking at um, a scottish sampler that she was really interested in um, called mrs campbell and i had actually just purchased mrs campbell because i was just instantly besotted by mrs campbell when i saw her it is a hands across the sea uh, samplers design um, it's a Scottish sampler and it is divine here it is this is a chart with some specialty stitches in it that I have not done before um, but I'm going to really enjoy doing it and I've actually spoken to because um, I got this chart from a stitch in time in Tasmania and I have spoken to Carolyn from there about getting the silks for this. I have never, ever, ever stitched in silk. But I just, uh, there's just something about this chart and the colours in this chart that I really would like to try this in silks. And so I really think it's going to be worth the investment. There's a lot of colours, uh, so it's going to be pricey. But I figure this is going to be like a Mother's Day present to myself to get the silks for this. And, um, yeah, I just really, really love. I mean, look at that border. Um, okay, so I have a thing about hearts. Um, I have a thing about hearts. I have actually had a congenital heart disease repair. So that means that I actually had... 
um, a malformation in my heart that I had from birth that they had found when I was pregnant with my fourth baby. And so I had to have open heart surgery to repair that. And ever since then, anything heart related, heart shaped, heart themed, just really resonates with me. Like I, I'm so grateful to even be here. Um, it was to the point where it was open heart surgery or I would be very nearly ready for a heart transplant. So I am just eternally grateful that they found that when they did and were able to fix it when they did. And so, yes, yeah, so hearts just are so special to me. And so I, this, I don't know if it's that that has drawn me to this. But anyway, I mentioned to Amanda in her comments section that if she does get it, I would really love to um, maybe do a sale. It won't be for a while because obviously I need to get all the threads and the fabric and rah, rah, rah. So it will be later in the year um, that I would plan, plan this sale start with um, Amanda, hopefully. Uh, she did say that she has she has ordered the pattern. Um, but in, we always have so much on our plates, don't we? Um, <laughs> that we kind of have to spread these things out. So if you would be interested in stitching that along with us, let us know because, um, yeah, maybe we could plan a start for later in the year for that one, but I just love it. Can you see what it says up here? I wonder if you can. Let's have a look. It says, keep your work clean and pay attention to it. Love it. Just love it. And it has a bird. It has two birds. So it's a sampler with birds and hearts. And so it is so perfectly me. So I'm so excited about that one. And I'm so grateful for Carolyn at um, a Stitch in Time in Tasmania because she is being so wonderful helping me out because I don't even know... I don't even know what to get because <laughs> I have never, I've never even held a silk in my hand ever. So she is going to be amazing help for me in, in sorting that out. Okay. Are you tired yet? I've done a lot of shopping, haven't I? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pull these next couple out of the plastic because they are in plastic and they might be a bit glary. So the next ones I got, this is Heartstring Samplery and it is Victoria's Garden. And again, it's just this beautiful floral piece with those precious little Christmas tree shaped trees. And I just, I love it so much. So I'm excited about that one. And then I'm nearly there, I promise, I'm nearly there. I don't have a start date for this one. I'm not sure when I'm going to get that one done. I And same goes for the next two, but the next two, <laughs> they just are gorgeous. So I have got Flirting, which is a Christmassy themed one with reindeers and a gentleman and a lady having a little bit of a, a flirt, which is so cute. And I got Rackstack little pile of reindeer which I thought was so cute so I've got those two as well that's all the haul I promise that's it that's it that's all the haul <laughs> so I can hear my husband in the background he is preparing dinner for us all so I am actually probably going to look at finishing this up now before I do we need to draw the giveaways so let me just grab my iPad so that I can pull up all of your beautiful comments. It is time to draw the winners for our giveaway last week. And we have these two Mojo Stitches patterns, courtesy of Mojo Stitches, um, to give away. And so the keyword to enter the draw was flower. And so I am using, oh, I am using a random comment pick a winner um, on YouTube. So I have put in the YouTube link and now I can fetch the winners and our first winner is 
<laughs> there we go joanne power powell joanne powell and it says those flower quaker the flower quaker is absolutely gorgeous and the country garden threads i'm in townsville queensland oh you're a queenslander how lovely i will comment on your comment to let you know that you have won um, and if you could email me so that i can get your address and i will get your prize out to you and of course we have got two so i need to reset it to pick our next winner and search there we go all right so the winner is for the second pattern is there we go wanda jones and she has used the word flower as well it says looking forward to the cow thank you for sharing i love the flower as well happy day friend thank you so much wanda i will find your video and i will comment on that as well if you could also email me your address then i will be able to get that pattern out to you congratulations to both of you and i do have some giveaways today so the first giveaway is um, actually not a cross stitch pattern. It is a quilt pattern and it is this one here. It's a Missouri star quilt pattern and it is charm quilt on point. And if you have a look at the back, that is what the quilt will look like. So it's a very sweet little quilt. It's only a small one, so it will be a really good one for a beginner. And so if you would like to be in the running to win this one, I would ask that you would use the word charm in your comment. And the next one is a St. Patrick's Day themed one. And this is called Lucky Notes. And it is by Shepherd's Bush. And that is the next one. So if you would like to be in the draw to win this one, then the keyword would be lucky. So, you could be really creative and enter both. Um, lucky charm, <laughs> they're your two keywords. So to enter, I would really like you to like this video and then use your keyword in the comment. You can enter one or the other or both, that is fine. Please don't use the word giveaway or prize or win um, because it does draw unwanted visitors to um, the video. We want um, a crafty person to win the prizes. I'm not going to check that you're subscribers, but I would really love for um, anyone to enter the competitions to be a subscriber. So that is one of the crafty family that get to win the prize. So these are the next ones. They are open worldwide. I don't mind posting worldwide. I can't guarantee how fast they will get there. <laughs> um, you know, things are still crazy in the postage system, but um I will of course let you know when they have been posted if you are lucky enough to be a winner. So that is about all we have time for today. I hope you have had a really wonderful few weeks and um, I look forward to chatting with you again. The next video I would guess will actually be our sew along for our Easter bunnies. Um, if you're not a sewer, you just skip past the sew along videos. If you just are here for the cross stitch, then all the cross stitch updates will be on Sundays and um, videos will be scattered in between for sewing. I hope you are all well and that you are all creating and making and I will see you at the next time I film a video. Thanks for joining. Bye.